just for clarity. You are not watching Arsenal TV, you are watching Premier League TV <laughs> with myself and Ian Wright. As Arsenal return to winning ways at Villa Park, five league wins in a row on the road uh, and one where they restricted to Aston Villa. One attempt on target and that was in stoppage time from Villatino. More possession and only 17 touches in Arsenal's box for Villa. Or he's on Art Street, Bakayo Saka. Confidence high, 7 in 11. A significant moment in the context of this season. Yeah, that's a very big win, obviously, on the back of the Liverpool defeat midweek. You know, we knew that today was even bigger, and to get that result, the three points, it means so much for the rest of the season. So, yeah, we're so happy. I could see you interacting with fans there. Someone got a lucky shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw it signed from Wiley. Um, so, yeah, I, I just wanted to make the boys' day, so I gave him my shirt and hopefully can go home happy. Apparently it's a landmark goal as well, because that's the 2,000th Arsenal goal in the Premier League. So, a little milestone for you. Yeah, that's special, you know. It's an honour to be, obviously, among a lot of great goal scorers for Arsenal. So. Hopefully we can get to 3,000, you know. <laughs> left, left foot through the crowd. That was a, a good goal, a very important goal because you needed to get something that dominated that first half, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I think that set us up, you know. I think we created quite a few chances before that and after, but that goal really put us in the, the driving seat. But, of course, it helped us win the game as well, so... You're on, you're on the wrong end of a few tackles today. You had the word with the ref coming off as well, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I wasn't obviously complaining, but, yeah, I just wanted to let him know that you know, that's my game, you know, I'm going to run out of players and sometimes I need a bit more protection, you know, when players are purposely trying to kick me. So that's what I was letting them know. Yeah, you're watching from the bench for the last 20 minutes or so. A few scares at the end there, little nervy moments. Yeah, 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 of course. That's the, that's, the, that's the Premier League, sorry. That's football, you know, but, you know, we've been in that situation a lot this season and we've come out on top and we did that again today. Yeah, you look like a tougher, more resilient side right now. Yeah, we are. And you can see that and it's a... It's a process. We've been working on it for a while. You know, last season we weren't there, but this season we've been much better at it and seeing our victory. So it's helping us get more points. And you're getting closer. You get back into the Champions League for the first time in five years. Yeah, that's the that's the goal. But of course, as I keep saying, we have to stay humble, treat every game like a like a cup final, and we can achieve it for sure. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bakayo Saka up to double figures for the first time in his senior career. Joint top scorer for Arsenal now with Emil Smith-Rowe in all competitions. That's good progress Absolutely. for him in development. Yeah, Erland, Erland doing the business for Arsenal at the moment. And maybe one of the main reasons why Mikel, um, when Mikel um, Arteta is able to then let someone like Oba go, because yes, we'd like to get more goals from Lacazette um, coming deep. Um, but when you've got Emil Smith-Rowe and Saka getting in those areas, when he comes deep and Artin Erdegaard getting the ball through there and then just doing so much offensively now, yeah, you do need to see those players with those goals. You know, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing Mane and Salah. We're seeing players playing those roles who are scoring the goals now. It's not so much um, the number nine. So, yeah, if they can continue doing that, then um, long may continue, I should say. You mentioned Aubameyang there. If I'd said to you when he left, Arsenal are going to go win 10 of the next 13 Premier League games, what would you say? I'd be worried about that because I'd be about where the goals are going to come from. Because, um, obviously... We've got Saka and Emma Smith Rowe, who are very young players. They're just coming into the team, really establishing themselves in the last couple of years. Um, and and what, what you're hoping is that the consistency will stay there simply because of their age. And that what happens is, is you get a dip in form, but they've not had it. Hopefully they don't have it because now they are joint top scorers in the club and that's what they're going to need to do. And Mikel is being brilliant by showing them faith. He probably pulled them and say, listen, you guys, are, this is it. You're going to be the guys. He's going to go. You're going to be the guys we need to get the goals from. And to be fair, as much as Emil has not played as regularly as he'd like to, I'm sure, he's, you know, he's come up with the goods alongside Bakayo. So, like I say, long may continue. We're going to need more goals from other places as well. But you have to mention the defence. Uh, Bert Leno done fantastically well when he came to Davila, obviously. Didn't put him under as much pressure as I thought they would. Um, but, you know, the defensively midfield, everything was so solid. And, you know, Arsenal winning games away from home like that is brilliant to see. It's really good to see. Five in a row yeah. away from home. Absolutely. And, again, it's, it's something to see where people... Well, it's happened for seven years. Yeah, hasn't it? It? It's a long time, you know. And I think that a lot of people, a lot of pundits have been, like, um, very joyous in their, you know what I mean, their punditry, talking about Arsenal and how weak they are and they no leaders. And the... Look at them now. 
I mean, you need people to now start saying, listen, this Arsenal team, a young side, we're starting to see characters grow in the side. You know, we're starting to see people like Ben White, Gabriel, Kieran Tierney, you know, Erdegaard, Tom Party. You know, we're talking about five, six, seven players, eight players are getting, we're getting eight out of ten every week. That's what you have to do. Then it's up to the owners and the managers and the recruitment to bolt on the kind of players that are going to fit into that squad and continue to help them to, to improve. Because like Bakayo said there, last season it was something they, they really struggled at, you know, defending and keeping hold of the lead. Now they're a lot better at it and they want to continue to get better at it. Let's have a look at this goal then yeah. today uh, in the first half. Villa didn't cover themselves in glory. Absolutely not. And Stevie Gerrard, is, you know, they were, they were terrible. I thought they were poor. I thought they Arsenal lead then by a goal to nil at half-time against Aston Villa. Andy Townsend, unfortunately, uh, taken him well. He'll be absolutely fine, so he's left us. But Ian Wright is smiling uh, because of a totally dominant first half uh, from Arsenal. Uh, and uh, from Aston Villa's point of view, not only have they not had an attempt on target, total attempts zero in 45 minutes. That's only the second time that has happened this season in the Premier League. And ironically, the first was against Arsenal uh, at the Emirates. More possession... Uh, for the Gunners as well. And look at this, just two touches in Arsenal's penalty area from Aston Villa. What's pleased you the most about that first 45 minutes? Brilliant. Brilliant performance, brilliant reaction to the Liverpool game. Um, they've just shut them down. You know, they're passing at a, a much quicker rate, quicker pace. They're shutting down spaces. When Dia, um, Coutinho find it very hard to operate in the spaces. And when they do get it in the box, like you mentioned, only two touches in the box. Um, White and Gabriel, it's, it's very, very comfortable. It'll, it'll probably be giving them a real chasing in there about livening themselves up. But from Arsenal's point of view, absolutely brilliant um, first half. Let's have a look at the goal then. Mm. Keo Saka, you mentioned it before uh, the game. 7-11 yeah. now, he's on a hot streak. Yeah, he is. And we said at the start of the game, and we've seen him kind of highlight Ashley, Ashley Young in this game because he's causing him so much problems. You just see him here on the edge, you know, and he gets that shot. And when you see it, you think, oh, gosh, the keeper, but... Um, I think that Arsenal really caught them out and Villa will be absolutely devastated that they've, um, that they've conceded this goal. When you look at this situation here, you've got... I think Martin Erdegaard here is a massive problem. There's a lot of space here. The first time I saw it, I thought, there's too much space happening. So when you start to run it, he's got a problem. Obviously, he's going to have a two against one. He actually ends up doing nothing. But it's this space here and Saka's... And he's just able to just jog in, jog in. He's, he should be going with him. And then, bam, it, it's, it's, it's what they deserve. People say, oh, the keeper there. But when you look from here, he's really unsighted. You might see it from behind the goal as well, I'm not sure. But, like, when you see it there, the keeper, by the time he sees it, here we go, look, by the time he sees it, see Buendia, he's trying to find it. Look, he's, he's trying to look round. Like, he's hitting it now, and he still isn't set. So it's, it's going to be very difficult for, for, Mart for Martinez, but that's it's enough, it's, it's what Arsenal deserve. And they, they must be looking at that thinking, what is going on? But Arsenal really caught them out with that. Brilliant play from Arsenal. Yeah. And all round in that first half, total dominance. It is total dominance. And like I say, playing at a tempo and a speed and a confidence. Emil Smith-Rowe started very, very well. Martin Erdegaard, at some stage, someone's going to have to get old of him, get tighter to him, get closer, because he's, he's running things in there, just passing it around, spraying it about. But it's at pace. It's that pace, it's moving Villa around and it's, it's really good to watch. And so too is the table as it stands for Arsenal fans because look at this, they would be four clear of Manchester United and that race for Champions League football in the final spot and Arsenal would still have a game in hand. And as I said, the frustration will be it's only one. Mm. The reason it's not two is Emi Martinez. How good was that save in the first This time? is an unbelievable reaction save simply because I thought this was in... And when we do see it, finally, Steve, it's, it, it's, it's nearly behind him when he makes the save. Um, this, look, he's, he's, bam, it's, behind, it's a fantastic save. And this is the problem I think I've said with Arsenal, just need to get this little bit of luck. We can't take anything away from the goalie, because when you look at him here, look, that's behind him, reaction save. And that's what Arsenal need with this kind of dominance, is to make sure that they can, can get those goals scored, those kind of chances. There's been a couple of balls that's gone in the, bo in the box from Kieran Tierney. I'd like to have seen more people in the box, but it's not happened. But we do need to really push home our advantage here because Villa will come out different in the second half. They have to. They can't be that bad. Is that a concern with it only at 1-0? Absolutely then? a concern, simply because, like I say, against Liverpool and against those teams, Arsenal are playing like this. This is how they've been playing very well. But you need to convert those chances to really put the, the opposing team on the back foot so then you can 
go on and maybe get another one and another one and totally finish them off, shut them down. A few yellow cards in that first half. Well. Yeah, it's a bit spicy as well, you know. You can feel it's a bit spicy. One of the people that do worry me is Xhaka, because I think they got into a little bit of a problem there with Buendia. He didn't need to. His hand was up by his face. He got booked. We don't really need anything that's going to derail what's going on now and give Villa any kind of impetus. OK, so that is the situation at half-time. Arsenal... Arsenal uh, creating the uh, chains in a uh, strong uh, start. Premier League uh, game week 30 Saturday. Uh, great uh, chance for uh, Arsenal uh, early on. Uh, they uh, stroke the ball around uh, nicely and uh, they find same incision. Thomas uh, party sweeping uh, the Pika Yosaka and on the right, he find uh, Martin Rodriguez uh, old guard and he lay it off uh, the Emile Smith uh, row. Who oh, on he, this his uh, return to the stringing XL blazer over. Respective winning uh, reigns have uh, come to end. So a boot of this uh, sides will uh, look to get uh, back on the horse and start the goal up again. Villa will look for the for, from that so of Southampton. Will Arsenal will want to recuperate the first half intensity they showed against Liverpool and hope to steer it up for the home side. We, we have uh, learned a lot of about Arsenal already this season. They have uh, steeped up from uh, the start of the season when uh, they were uh, under uh, crisis. But uh, it's now that uh, stage of the season where you can't afford uh, to sleep up. They performed uh, quite well against Liverpool, but uh, without uh, showing that uh, Good in each, you need to beat the really top team and uh, now they need to bounce back uh, today. <clears throat> we, we have to try to mention a high uh, performance level and keep the momentum and uh, the confidence going uh, around. Uh, Ram Sardinal has a muscle injury in his uh, opening and uh, will be out for uh, a few weeks. Will uh, Martinelli has been uh, sick for the last uh, few days since uh, Coutinho joined Villa has uh, been uh, providing goals and uh, creativity like uh, he always uh, does. Uh, so we need to take care of uh, that.